morning friends and welcome to Shekhan pre-market view. Indian markets uh, yesterday opened on a nervous note, uh, however the markets ended on a, an extremely positive note. Sensex put on over 240 points gain whereas Nifty was up about uh, 68 points. This was amid positive global cues as well as uh, certain reforms which were announced by government uh, on the FDI side. Also monsoon remains a key monetable for the Indian markets. If you look at the queues from Wall Street, they were quite positive. Uh, Wall Street Dow ended up by about 130 points. Nasdaq put on 37 points gain, whereas S&P put on 12 points gain. This was amid uh, a global relief rally on news reports that the Remain camp uh, remains the highest vote in terms of the pre-exit uh, polls uh, which are slated to happen in the current week. If you look at the current uh, Asian markets, they are trading uh, slightly positive. Uh, Indian markets taking cues from the global market is also trading uh, on a positive note. Uh, SGX is indicating a 15 points cap up uh, in trade today. If you look at the flows, uh, flows uh, from FIS uh, were negative yesterday. They were sellers of 385 crore in the cash market. They were sellers of 1336 crore in the index future whereas DII supported the market with inflow of 724 crores. So after this positive gap up opening by 15 points, how Nifty is likely to behave throughout the day? Let's have a view from our derivatives team. Good morning friends, will give analysis on derivatives. Uh, yesterday's trading session was a uh, kind of an, uh, uh, kind of a trading session where we have seen um, Nifty starting off with a negative, uh, uh, negative opening and uh, showed some kind of a gap down opening of around 40 50 odd points due to the uh, due to the news of mr raghuram rajan that uh, the rbi governor uh, ha, uh, is not been able to continue its uh, second term of the rbi as, as an rbi governor uh, due to that market uh, did reacted negatively on the initial part of the day that is uh, in the first few minutes of the trade but soon after that we did saw nft showing uh, some kind of a resilience at lower level and uh, managed to bounce back uh, quite sharply and eventually uh, gave closing above uh, 8200 dot levels at 8251.90 it didn't uh, uh, it, uh, it it was not also able to uh, uh, wipe off all of its morning losses but also was able to post its healthy gain of around 0.95 percentage that is at a, of around one odd percentage uh, which, uh, which is quite noteworthy and uh, it settled at 8 to 5.190 on the open interest term some long addition was seen that is around 4 odd percentage was added in the open interest uh, in the absolute term 7.32 lakh shares were added in the open interest while in the cost of carry uh, increased from one and a half odd percentage to six percentage that is nifty premium uh, did came up from uh, four, four points to 14 15 odd points currently uh, indicating majority of the build-up which was seen in yesterday trade on the nifty side was on the longest uh, was on the long side Put call ratio have also increased by 4 odd basis point from 1.11 to 1.15. Uh, in line with the market going up, we have seen a sharp increase in the put call ratio, where uh, due to which uh, the put call, the main reason for the increase in the put call ratio was uh, we did saw a good amount of unwinding in the call option side, as we did saw a, a good amount of uh, surprise bounce back in the Nifty in the uh, uh, soon after the first few minutes of the trade, uh, due to which we have seen a sharp rise in the put call ratio of around 4 odd basis point and volatility index was more or less same at around 17, 17 and a half odd levels. Uh, as mentioned in the options activity, 8200, 8300 call option have seen good amount of unwinding uh, of around 3 percentage to 12 percentage respectively. Uh, 8300 uh, still remains as the highest in terms of open interest with around 63 lakh shares into it. While on the put side, uh, we did saw a good amount of put riding taking place in 8100 and 8200 strike price. Uh, both have seen an addition of around uh, 23 to 33 odd percentage respectively. Or in all, uh, in yesterday's trade, the outlook remains positive on the uh, on the market front where we have seen an, uh, 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 long positions getting built up by the market participants. Our majority of the long position has been built up by the weaker hand, weaker section of the market participants and not the stronger hands of the market participants. As FIS have been net sellers in index futures in yesterday trade with an healthy amount of 1300 odd crores. Hence, uh, the stronger hand are been selling at the higher levels and uh, where it saw a good amount of addition in the bank nifty in yesterday trade of around uh, 15 odd percentage. Uh, 15 20 odd percentage where uh, we have seen major and bank nifty has been 
have closed on a flattish note and uh, have seen good amount of short positions getting added and majority of the short positions has been added by the stronger end of the market putting that is by the FIA. So, or the market uh, uh, till the new, uh, till the event of break exit doesn't unfold, market would be in a range bound kind of activity, won't be able to see uh, market uh, going on a one side rally and uh, we might see Nifty taking resistance around 8300 again and can drift lower. Uh, till 8100 in the coming till uh, uh, till Thursday's trading session. The three securities in bank period for today's trade uh, that is C8 Limited, JP Associates, and India Bull Real Estate. On the FIS terms, as mentioned, they were uh, net sellers in index future despite market showing a sharp recovery from the lower level and showing a gain of more than 150 odd points on the intraday basis where market. Uh, uh, in the first hour of the trading session, wipe off all of the morning losses and uh, posted an additional uh, gain of around 56, uh, 70, 80 odd points. Uh, despite that, two FIs were net sellers in index futures with an healthy amount of 1335 odd crores, and the open interest went up by 4 to 5 percentage, indicating fresh short additions by them. Index options were net sellers by 1055 odd crores. By stock futures net buyers by 290 or crores and stock options net sellers by 6 crores only. On the market level, our Friday's way of strength at 8180 with a lower range at 8180 and higher range at 8300, which is the highest call base. As the XMT is trading flat to positive, it's just up by uh, 10 to 14 odd points and it's quoting anywhere around 8 to 5, so indicating some kind of a flattish to positive opening can be expected in the morning trade. That's it from derivatives. Thank you. Friends, let's have a look at the trading ideas for the day. The first one being Bharat Electronics Limited. Now, government has allowed up to 100% FDI in defense sector without mandatory condition of uh, bringing the state of the art technology applicable for manufacture of small, small arms and ammunition. Uh, this is positive news for the entire uh, defense sector and more so for BEL. One can long BEL with stop loss of 1270, the potential upside would be closer to 1325 levels. Our next idea is ENIL. Now, government has seek bids uh, for 266 private FM radio channel uh, in 92 cities as a part of the phase 3 radio auction. Uh, certain stocks like uh, ENIL, uh, Sun TV, etc., could see uh, good action in trade today. However, one can long ENIL with stop loss of 705, the potential upside could be closer to 755. Moving on to important news update. Tata Motors uh, JLR is likely to focus on the petrol variant uh, for the Discovery Sports model which is likely to be priced at 56 lakh rupees. Rolta India sees a downgrade from SNP. Uh, the credit rating has been downgraded to default. Food regulators uh, have finalized new list of 11,000 permissible food addictives. Yes Bank has appointed Goldman Sachs as advisor for fundraising. Mahanagar gas uh, issue opens today. Uh, Tatacom has put its ATM business on the block. Apollo Hospital is in packed with Hainan Ecological uh, for hospital in Hainan region. Uh, Quick Hill introduces uh, cyber security consulting and education services. PC Dwellers is likely to allot compulsory convertible debenture to DVI fund Mauritius uh, at rupees 380 per share. Uh, the issue size is going to be approximately 427 crore. FDI norms have been relaxed yesterday by government. Uh, the relaxation has come in sectors like defense, civil aviation, uh, FDI in airports, pharmaceutical, broadcasting, uh, carriage services, uh, as well as food processing industry and animal husbandry. Uh, Reliance and IIP have jointly developed benzene extraction technology from bright uh, naphtha. Uh, merger talks between RCOM and SL will be extended by a couple of weeks more as both the parties are uh, thrashing out the final contours of the deal uh, with the bankers. Uh, marking its debut in Indian's uh, solar energy space, uh, CLP India, one of the largest foreign investor in the Indian uh, power sector, has announced its plan to pick up a stake. Uh, which is close to 49% stake in one of the group companies of Suzlon. Watch list that we have created for the day stock with positive bias we have Jet Airways, Bharat Forge and Bank of India where a stock with negative bias we have Kane India, Aditya Birla, Mu and Torrent Pharma. Stock for long term investment we like BEL, HDFC Bank, Maruti, Hindustan Unilever and Sun Pharma.